So yes, the biggest update to Funky Friday has dropped today. At 3 p.m. Eastern time, we're gonna be checking out a little bit more about the new map and all of its features on this video. So make sure you guys smack the like so more people know about the features and know what's going on. And let's get right into it. So what is new as of July 24th? They've added in the new map. They use 100K as in code. Added Bob and Bosa. Rudy remains with permission. Updated peculiar colors. They've added in the monster cat tag. Tab, added the more animation, added the Reimu emote, they added they also added in the Itsumi emote as well, added arrow style selected UI, they've added in the arrow style replication setting, added confirmation window when buying animations, updated localizations, added lane offset in the settings, and they've also added the head sound configuration in settings. So a lot of stuff to go over once again in the update. Got a new code. If you guys use code 100 k active, let's go up to the blue tuner logo up here type in 100k active and we get 250 free points by redeeming 100k active make sure you guys do that so first of all let's go try out the new animation the finalized version of it so we got the more animation made by my man fiber <laughs> dude fiber is making all the great animations man seriously 1,200 points, we got this new confirm button here, let's confirm it and let's showcase it. So here we go, we got the animation on idle here, chilling on a gamer setup here. Left, down, up, and right, the colors change corresponding to your arrow colors as well. Really great animation. <laughs> Yeah, bro, like we've seen the animation a lot on the on the leaks and stuff like that, but bro, seeing it in a finalized form like that, like Fiber did an amazing job on this one, man. My boy, he never ceased to amaze me. Next up, we also have the new emotes as well. We got the Raimu emote made by Eternal Rainbows for 600 points. Let's showcase that up too. This is what the Raimu emote looks like. You're holding her rod as well. You're like spinning around in a circle every couple of seconds while holding and waving her rod around, which is really cool. It's like a staff of, of sorts, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's a really cool emote, really great for 600 points. I think it's definitely doable. And if we go on top of the speakers with the Itsumi uh, emote, you literally change the look of the speaker. You become a DJ player as well. Actually becoming DJ status in here, which is pretty insane. This is the only emote in the shop at the moment that can actually change the look of the speaker it's gonna be insane dude as for the new features our first one's gonna be the era customization uh, some setting here so let's go up in between the shop and the stats you're gonna see a rainbow colored arrow click on that it's gonna open up this window you can choose either between the default arrow set where you have the you know your regular default arrows or you can choose the circular arrow set as well by clicking equip it's gonna be free you don't have to unlock it or anything like that this is what the arrows look like in finalized form you got the circles on the bottom here I think it's a lot better than arrows but you know it's always up to personal preference some people probably perform better with these circles than arrows you know what I mean it's cool that they're adding in more options for those players who want arrows comparing it to like just circles you know it's gonna be great to see that also they added a new setting where you can view your opponent's arrow styles as well so if you want to see them using circle inputs as well or whatnot you guys can actually have this setting enabled so that way you can see that happen you can now toggle the miss note sounds uh, if you don't want to hear those missing sounds if whenever you miss a note on the songs you can disable that now and you also have a custom hit note sound setting in here as well so if you guys want you can use custom IDs in order to be played while you're playing a song so here we're gonna be using the brush sign effect this code 711226939 so there we go and you can change the volume in here and then you can change the hit position as well so if you have a delayed sound effect you can change a little you can change it a little bit so that way it plays a little bit earlier or a little bit later depending on your delay so yeah there we go we got some bob over here we're gonna showcase it real quick but man this is gonna be freaking crazy dude oh geez <laughs> Bro, it's literally a bro moment. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that's freaking hilarious, bro. Look at this. 
<laughs> oh my gosh! I hate no chunk that would definitely be a huge game changer, especially for Funky Friday, man. Also, if you go even more further down, there's gonna be another new setting called Lane Offset. Over here, you can choose a number between negative 100 and 100. Basically, what this does is you can change the distance in between your inputs here. So we have it set at 100. They're gonna be really close together to the point where they're actually overlapping. Some people prefer this, you know? Some people prefer having them close together like this to negative 100. Or, oh, you know, you can go all the way down to negative 100. And they get wicked spread out like this. Like, this is actually pretty weird, honestly, dude. I don't think I'd be able to play very well with them spread out just like that, but it's gonna help out mobile players a lot more, especially because you can actually change the distance in between your inputs to match inside of the mobile tile hitboxes. So that way, if you guys want it to be nice and organized on your gameplay, that's gonna be really great to see that. So they got a new poll in the Funky Friday Discord server poll here. So you go over here, you can see you can choose, you know, how much FPS you're going because the developers want to know if the new map is gonna help out with lags. So how you can help if you're on PC guys do shift plus F5 at the same time You're gonna open up a little window over here a little box It's gonna show you how many how much frames per second that you're currently having at the moment I got like 250 which is pretty insane But yeah, like just make sure you guys vote in the poll and you'll get 50 points for your rewards It'll take you like two seconds of your time, but yeah, it's pretty much it for features and everything Let's go to some public servers. We'll showcase some of the songs I can't go over any of the monster cat songs though due to copyright But we'll showcase a good portion of the bob and Songs. So we do have the Bob and Bosom songs being added in in between Bob and Camellia. We're gonna try jump in first. It's gonna be the first song from the mod. All right, here we go, boys. A little bit of an intro, but here we go, man. We got the. I, I'm loving this more animation, though. Honestly, though. But here we go, boys. This mod is definitely a bop. Like I remember when it first came out. Like uh, we did our interview with the master Chris. He was actually the creator for Starlight Mayhem, and he also helped out on the Bob and Bosa mod as well. He was mainly like the artist. He was mainly like the animator for the mod. So he definitely did a great job with all of the art. You know, all of the art and stuff like that, dude. Like the whole mod is definitely a bop, dude. Look at that. And with the circle inputs too, it just makes the songs a lot more easier to play, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I'm still probably just getting used to the circle inputs. I'm probably gonna stick with arrows, to be honest. But, you know, the circular arrow inputs can definitely be a huge game changer for some of you guys. Because some of you guys probably enjoy playing with circles more than arrows. But the first song's great, you're like, listen to that. It kind of gives you some, like, jazzy vibes to it, you know? But here we go. Oh no, she ended up quitting out of it too. You guys know the rest of the song though. We don't have to do the whole thing. This guy's got the armor animation too, bro. Here we go. Second song from the mod. This is where you're going up against Bob. Like you got Bob and Bosip, right? You're going up against Bosip first and you got Bob too. But yeah, look at this man. Such a bop and beat. It's a lot more um jazzier comparing it to the other song, you know, comparing it to jump in. This is a lot more jazzier. I feel like there's a lot more bass in this one as well. So if you guys enjoy listening to the bass of the parts of the song a lot more, then you're gonna enjoy this one more. But here we go. Jeez. It's such a bop. I just gotta I, I gotta be quiet so that way you guys can listen to it more. This guy's got a really good uh, Amor animation too, like he's got a really good cosplay for him as well. He's got the socks and everything, man, that's great. I love those cosplays, dude. They're, they're pretty amazing. Oh! I'm loving that little drop right there, dude. It wasn't really a drop, it was like a small, uh, a slow section right there, you know? It sounded really cool. Can we take them one moment to just, like, appreciate how much work Fiber put into this animation as well? Like, this is pretty insane, dude. Especially because the colors change corresponding to your arrow colors, too. Like, that's pretty insane right there, dude. That swing right there, it's a really nice song as well. And then the last song for the mod is going to be a split, boys. This one, you actually going up against Armor himself, you know what I mean? in the mod it's a really fun bopping song it's very hyped it's very um dubstepy you know what i mean it's very fast paced it's very dubstepy so if you guys are in a dubstep you're definitely going to be enjoying this one as well there you go see it's not that hard of a song like these songs aren't too hard but they're also really fun songs to play at the same time you know what i mean that's why i like these kind of songs because they sound really cool, but they're not like outrageously hard to play at the same time. They're really great. It has a really good balance. Oh! Hey! 
<laughs> that part right there, bro. Oh, bro, that was fire. I'm surprised we didn't miss any notes right there. Oh, boy. Yeah, we ain't missing any notes in here, boys. How about that? Jeez. Oh, man. No, it's a really great song, bro. It's like that. It's going to be one of my favorite songs from the whole mod as well. But I'm really glad how it all turned out, especially with the animations and everything. Some of the songs from the Peculiar mod have been changed and remixed as well. This is what it sounds like now. They've been remastered quite a bit. Yeah, definitely a change in vocals. That is interesting. As well as the instrumentals in the background as well. They probably remastered most of the songs in the mod, which is really great, dude. Like, it's actually good. I'm liking how mods are remastering some of their old songs in order to make them more fresh, in order to make them even better. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's actually really good. I like that. So that's pretty much all the features and some of the new songs on the update, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you smack the like because we do cover every single update on Funky Friday. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody.